Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm Trisha Hart. We're joined now by Linda Prebyshevsky, a professor of history at Notre Dame. Her new book, The Lost Art of Dress, was featured in the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and on NPR. So, Linda, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm happy to be here. All right, so tell us a little bit about your book, The Lost Art of Dress. Well, it got started by accident. I found an old book, 500-page um, textbook from the 1950s. Okay on the art of dress and the craft of sewing. And I started looking for more of these books and it turned out that there were literally dozens of textbooks, hundreds of pamphlets, and thousands of classes across the United States that taught women the art of dress. So millions of girls and women from 4-H clubs to home economics courses were learning this from the 1910s on into the early 1960s. All right, so in the book you claim that we used to know how to dress, but as a society we've eventually forgotten everything. Yes. And that's part it's of the statement. <laughs> well, but it's sadly true. Um, it's because of the 1960s. So when young people were revolting against, you know, certain wrongs that needed to be revolted against, like race discrimination, they also ended up revolting against rules about dress. Okay. So people stopped being taught about dress, um, how to apply the principles of art to dress, how to dress for different occasions, and it became something nobody wanted to pay any attention to, and it got forgotten. All right, and you actually brought some models with you to the studio today to kind of showcase some of the um, some of the dresses that you've actually made here um, that illustrate the descent of design. Can you show us how it worked? I mean, you have three different models with us today. Right. So first, we've got Amy wearing the black dress. This is a dress from the 1930s, and if you look at it closely, you realize just how many details are built into it. Right, the sleeves are of a contrasting fabric. There are cuffs with multiple buttons. The cuffs themselves are shaped. Mm -hmm. um, and the skirt is actually made of multiple pieces. So there's a lot of creativity put into this single dress from the 1930s. So if I could now have uh, Annie stand up. She's wearing the blue dress. Okay. And this dress is from the 1940s. It's actually a sportswear dress. Okay. And so it's a little more casual, but you can still see the enormous amount of details put into it. You can see the stitching that runs up the front of the dress, uh, which matches the buttons. There's also pleats in the front. Um, it fits to the body. And the details also help to bring your eyes up towards the top of the dress. The idea was emphasis should be on one point. Mm -hmm. It should be on your face. So people listen to what you say. All right. And then you have, real quick, you have one last dresser, I think, one which may be dress. one of the most eye-capturing ones. It's very From monochromatic. From the 1960s. Yeah. Um, we've kind of lost all the details, unfortunately. And instead, we just have one really, really bright color. So I have to say it's the beginning of the end of good design. Okay. I'm afraid. <laughs> Sadly. All right. Well, very helpful here. If you want to find out more about other tips that Linda has for the lost art of dress, thank you for joining us. You can check out her book, The Lost Art of Dress.